Okay, I just want to explain uh, some things about the Link Research Tools Backlink Profiler. Um, now, I did a, uh, a Backlink Profiler, or BLP as we call it, uh, on this site here, Sydney Property and Conveyancing. Um, this site isn't doing amazing, it's okay. It ranks number one for Sydney Property Conveyancing, but um, that doesn't have a massive volume. Uh, but anyway. Uh, so I ran the BLP report for it um, and uh, in the actual software you get a very nice sort of uh, you know tables and charts and things uh, unfortunately I can't share that with you so what I have to do is to send you the Excel spreadsheet and the PDF with the results in so in Excel the report looks something like this um, on the top line here it tells you which tool I use the project the title uh, the report URL which is only really useful to me um, and the input URL so in this row here uh, you've got all these metrics which are the LRT metrics now if you want to find out what these are exactly you can come over to linkresearchtools.com slash help text and here it's got all the metrics listed so it'll tell you what each one means but for the moment, let's just look at the uh, more important ones. Now in this particular report, I've decided to show the uh, the links that weren't found. These are ones that have been reported by the various link sources that we use, um, but when they're actually checked in real time, which is what this tool does, uh, the link actually wasn't there. So for example, this link on this uh, 24h.net.au actually wasn't there. Um, if you like you can just remove these if they're not of interest to you um, I thought they might be interesting in this particular one because there's quite a lot of negative SEO going on in this uh, in this niche negative SEO is find it useful to turn the links on and off all the time to try and create uh, velocity spikes that can get sites penalized so so just very quickly moving on I'll just give you a quick rundown of what these uh, metrics are. Favourites is something I use internally so you don't have to worry about that. From URL is obviously the page where the link was and this is where the page is going to. That's the anchor text and sometimes you might see an image with no text which means there's an image linking to this URL but there's no alt text in there. Okay, So that might be something where that could be improved. Uh, keyword classification, this is something I do, basically what something like first home buyers is is a money keyword. That is something where somebody would put that expression into a search engine, um, whereas this one here is just the URL. So we call them brand, key link, brand keywords. Uh, link status, that's fairly obvious. It's either follow, do follow, or it could be a mention where it's actually not a link. It's just the actual, you know, the raw link is there. Um, or or the brand is mentioned. Uh, but either way, there's not actually a link there. So yet again, that's something that, if it was a good link, it could be, you know, made into a proper link and actually improved. Uh, link type. Uh, Quite obvious again, it can either, can either be text or an image or it could be a redirect or something like that. If it is a redirect, this column tells you if that redirect juice is being passed on to the uh, to URL. Uh, link position is uh, a, a score which shows you the uh, you know the actual position on the page. So like you know one over a hundred would be at the top of the page. Uh, 100 slash 100 would be at the bottom of the page um, and this is that same thing in a, as a percentage so that's how far down the page that link is uh, generally the nearer the top the more stronger the link is some people think uh, and me too actually uh, link location so that's if the software can detect that it's in a in a link list or a paragraph or a or a comment it will do so here. Author ID is fairly irrelevant, outreach is for internal use. BL is the number of backlinks um, to that page. This one is the number of backlinks to the actual domain. 
this one is domain popularity, the number of linking domains that link to that domain. So um, usually the higher this number, the better it is, unless it's been heavily spammed. Theme, sometimes you can detect the theme uh, of the site. Uh, so it might say it's about computers or blogs, person or whatever. Obviously the more relevant the link is, the better it is. And the site type is, uh, you can say like uh, Joomla or something like that, Drupal. Or if it's a blog, that's usually the WordPress ones. General, it's probably just a straight HTML, HTML site. And then we get into the more common um, metrics that we use all the time with link research tools. Uh, the power is a bit like the old Google page rank, and that goes from 0 to 10. Uh, the trust is a bit like the um, majestic um, TF, the trust flow, uh, sort of divided by 100. So this, this one goes from 0 to 10 also. Um, and the power of trust is these two multiplied together. So this goes from 0 to 100. Um, and this is a pretty good single metric to look at to see the strength of a link. So you can see here that the majority of these links, you know, with, with the odd exception, they've all got a pretty low power trust. The power trust of the domain is the actual, um, you know, the power trust of the the actual domain domain name. So as you'd expect, sometimes you'll see that higher than any internal page where the link might be. Power trust to the top domain is obviously with the uh, you know the www excluded or if it's a subdomain then it will be the actual uh, you know domain without the subdomain um, and you can guess what these are this is like the, the power like that one to the actual domain etc um, etc et uh, and here we've got stuff like the uh, when the domain was created and you've also got the domain age. Right, the uh, registrant is the uh, person who registered that domain. So, uh, you know, you'll see like Jen, the Christ, Christie, and whatever there, uh, Rodolfo Vasquez, the actual people. Uh, NA probably means it's got privacy or it just hasn't got a name there. IP address is fairly obvious. The AC rank is an old majestic uh, metric that don't really use anymore. PR is also the Google metric, which is now defunct. Um, country is the country that the um, link is coming from. So you've got US, Korea, Russia, city. If it can detect the city, it will be here. So you've got Moscow, Scottsdale. And that's kind of it, really. So if you were going to look for like the, so if you were going to look for, say, the best. Um, best links that this domain has you can just maybe get rid of those first few lines and you could sort by the power trust to see you know where the actual strong links really are so I can just sort that by power trust and look for the largest to the smallest and I don't think there were many that good ones so these first few here with a value over one are going to be interesting ones to look at. For example, you might want to have a look at this one. And I guess if you were to call these people, you could find out if there's any possibility of getting your link there. Okay, so that's pretty much the uh, the BLP and how it can be used.